Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muratova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And today we're going to talk about the main colors for this autumn, for the upcoming autumn 2023. This one's very close to me because I actually am very eager to get into non-summer clothes. As you can obviously see, I'm wearing cardigans already and stuff. Just because at some point, even though I absolutely love summer, I'm a summer baby. I was born in the summer in July. I still feel like sometimes it gets a bit too much with the one tone, one layer dressing for the summer because obviously you cannot experiment with layers as much as you can with other seasons. So to me, autumn is very much anticipated and loved and I love autumn colors. I love autumn color palette and this one's very exciting. So let's get into it. <music> So the first color we're going to talk about is called Cherry. And this one is kind of neutralish slash on the colder undertone of red, like a deep, beautiful, rich red. And this one works amazingly. So also all of these colors, first of all, are Pantone color selection and forecasting for the season. And most of their forecasting is also 80% based on the seasons and collections that were previously shown with these colors in mind. So basically all the fall collections for 2023 had these colors in common. And these colors are the main colors for the season. And what's amazing with the Pantone selection is that each and every color actually works with each other and within this group so basically this cherry is going to work with all the other colors in this selection and obviously with all the basic like usual beautiful neutral colors like beige black gray creamy white off-white whatever it is but also with some deeper and beautiful colors so this one in particular is a tricky color just because it's kind of bright enough to be a statement color so in order to make it work as usual with all the bright colors and patterns and prints what I suggest is going from the periphery and then inwards so what I mean by periphery is actually accessories and shoes so the further these things are from your portrait zone so your face zone the better and then you work them upwards so basically you start with shoes and accessories and bracelets and bags and then you go into bottoms and then only then you go into whole top selection and uh, accessories that are close to your face so earrings necklaces and stuff and obviously lipsticks are in that selection as well just because these colors are so intense and beautiful and so sophisticated yet there is statement color so in order for you to feel comfortable with these colors you kind of have to implement them into your wardrobe step by step so the best option to go for the safest one is definitely shoes and these kinds of colors for shoes are the best ones because they're so classy they're gonna be easy to wear and mix with other pieces of your wardrobe and obviously lipstick is a good option because i feel like everyone has a kind of tomato red lipstick and this one's like a deeper tomato red but still kind of on a neutral side it's equal parts warm and equal parts cool so it's perfect for the neutral undertoned people but also for people with a cooler color and a yellowish undertone to their skin and then i feel like the next best option is definitely a bag i feel like a lot of people especially minimalists are lacking a statement yet minimalistic colored bag and red and like this kind of muted red not a bright red is definitely the best option to go for because then you can obviously brighten up and spice up your outfits without going overboard the next color is Apricot Crush and this one is very bright and beautiful. It's actually not like your typical autumn color. This one's definitely, this reads more summer slash spring. So it's an unusual color to bring into fall, which 
actually plays an advantage in the whole color scheme because I feel like this one's going to brighten up your outfits. This one's going to look amazingly in accessories, in some statement pieces, and obviously in your bottoms and tops as well. This could mix beautifully in some prints and brighten up your outfits. And obviously mostly people wear like blacks and grays and deep browns, etc., for the winter and the fall. So I feel like this kind of a color is going to be a beautiful addition to the whole color palette. The next one is actually the one I feel like I'm wearing at the moment. It's called Bitter Chocolate and Bitter Chocolate is definitely like literally the color I'm wearing on my cardigan. And this one is a staple color each and every fall. Honestly, each and every fall, tried and true color combinations and color selections are grays, deep chocolates, some caramelly colors, off-whites, reds, some kinds of reds, and definitely like a deeper kind of red. So each and every season, they kind of change a little bit in terms of hue and undertone, but mostly they're kind of the same. And so each and every fall, you can definitely expect a version of chocolate brown to be in there. And this chocolate brown is definitely my favorite one because this one is rich enough to work for each and every person with their personal undertones, but also it's not too deep in that it looks like almost black, if you know what I mean, so it still stands out. And this color is an understated and like underappreciated neutral color because mostly people go, I see people wearing blacks, grays, whites. Those are the main colors people go to when they think of something that's like a basic color. But this one is rich, beautiful. It adds to the outfit. It gives some depth to the outfit and it works with absolutely everything. And it also works in order to tone down some other colors. For example, let's take cherry, the first color that we've uh, selected for the season. And this bitter chocolate is going to work magic with a cherry. It's going to tone down the redness of the red. It's also going to work beautifully in terms of this whole analogous color scheme transition from the deeper chocolate to cherry, which is a beautiful thing to see. So basically you can wear like a cherry colored skirt, let's say 90s mid knee length skirt, so the classic 90s silhouette, and then this kind of a cardigan in butter chocolate color. Beautiful color combination, both work amazing with each other, and the bitter chocolate is going to neutral down the redness of the red. The next color is ice water, beautiful color as well. This color is definitely not your usual color for the fall seasons, Usually they're more like toned down and muted and deep, like navies and stuff. So this one is literally a breath of fresh air or a sip of ice water. This one's going to mix actually amazingly with bitter chocolate because one is kind of a rich, warm slash neutral undertone and the next one the ice water is definitely on the cooler side so these two are going to work amazingly to complement each other actually so let's say this cardigan and then just your blue jeans or a blue bottom let's say trousers with this cooler blue it's going to look beautiful but also as a selected accessory it's going to add some brightness to the outfit the next color is bone white. This one is definitely a cooler, so not yellowish undertone, but like a bluish grayish undertone beige. This one is more neutral. This one works amazingly with all the colors in this whole selection. So this one's going to work with a cherry. This one's going to work with ice water, with the bitter chocolate, obviously. And with bitter chocolate, this could be such a beautiful monochromatic look, let's say chocolatey brown pants and then a blouse or a men's style cotton poplin this whole bone white shirt such a beautiful combination such a beautiful like degradé effect of this whole color combination so definitely the one like a staple color for the autumn the next one is caramel. Caramel is basically like a muted orange, not necessarily actually my favorite color, and I'm very apprehensive to orange colors overall. It just 
not my thing but this one mixed with other colors and if you're in orange hater and there's a lot of people actually that are orange haters and let me know in the comments below if you're one of them if you're in my group you can make it work you can neutralize it in a print or by mixing it with some other totally opposite contrasting colors so let's say this orange is kind of very yellow undertone very warm and then you can mix it with ice water and these would balance each other out the next one is steel gray your usual graffiti let's say gray color very beautiful and understated for autumn works amazingly to neutral down your outfits it's better than black in terms of contrasting colors so if you're wearing all black it's very contrasting to your features as opposed to gray which is more like soft and neutral and for some people even switching from blacks to grays is going to be a beautiful and uh, amazing huge step into venturing to other colors so let's start with this one and in order to mix this one with some other colors this one's going to look very like transitionally <laughs> transitiony <laughs> Okay, very beautiful with the aqua blue or what was it? Ice water, beautiful color combo. But also, let's say with the next one, which is called White Asylum. Oh no, White Alyssum. <laughs> white Asylum, no, White Alyssum. So White Alyssum and Steel Gray. So White Alyssum is basically like an off white with a bit of a neutral undertone and closer to beige and this one's deep gray so these two are going to create a beautiful monochromatic outfit and for those minimalists out there this is your color combo for sure add some black accessories and maybe red shoes and this is a beautiful sophisticated deep 3d outfit for you to try out and uh, this is it for this video let me know in the comments below if you like these colors and also let me know if you're in the orange hater community and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye